last year's Auckland Arts Festival sellout hit Selfish is back for its 2018 season. We've been told to expect Shakespeare behind bars, but not as we know it. I don't really know much about Shakespeare behind bars to begin with. With us now, our director and co-writer Jason Picare, as well as award-winning actor Carrie Green. Welcome to you both. Welcome. I wish to point out that Selfish is like sell yeah. and a fish, not like as in you're so selfish. Yeah. Um, Jason, you co-wrote the play with Miriam McDowell and Rob Mokoraka. What's, a, what's it all about? Um, so essentially it's Shakespeare behind bars. So a woman goes into a men's prison to teach to the men Shakespeare and hopefully um, kind of enlighten them with a bit of performing arts. And can, can you act yourself? Yes, yes, I used to act. So you just palmed all the characters off to Carrie and, <laughs> yeah. and Rowley, pretty much. Yeah. So Carrie, you play multiple characters, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, across, across the play there's ten, ten characters in total. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so Jared Dawley and I, we share eight of them, about eight of them, yeah. and then we have a character each that we play. So That's... obviously I play Miss Lucy, the, the Shakespeare tutor, and... Um, Jared plays a character called Shades, or Shane. That must yeah. take some skill, because yeah. I, I can't string a sentence together on this show usually, and having to play seven different characters. Yeah, yeah. Is it's, it it's tough? Yeah, it is. It's just that, that kind of mindset of being able to flick through between people and just, you know, get it really precise yeah. as well. But can you yeah. give us an example while you're here? Oh, <laughs> okay, I went the, oh, my Irish. the language clean. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a bit R-rated, some of the words. You know, like my Irish should be kind of bit like this. Yes. And then we got the little old man, and his name is Fuff. Um, and this Lucy, she's just more like me. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you'd is be it... fun at a party. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It'd be like, do you char do your characters? Yeah. <laughs> do you share the characters? Is it true that you don't actually have the same ones every performance? You kind of tag team them. No, we share them between us. All oh, right. Okay. So, good. Because so... I'm gonna say that would be highly confusing if you were trying to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'd be. Yeah, I don't think Jason would let us do that. <laughs> Maybe as the show goes yeah. along. A little bit of freedom. Yeah, not too much freedom. <laughs> but we share them between us, so we'll both play the little old man Fuff and we'll play Irish. They also Italian. have to dance like Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Mm. They have to do a song, they have to do a waiata and a haka as multiple characters mm. and a bit of Shakespeare and on the Shakespeare. side. Oh, is that all? <laughs> That's all. Yeah. So, so, so how did you know yourself and Mirama come up with this? Um... Well, Rob and Miriam originally came up with the, the essence of the idea. Um, this was a number of years ago where they were looking to create a piece that really challenged themselves as actors and really showcased what they could do. Um, and when they started looking at the idea of Māori incarceration a, as a kind of grounding, it was such uh, fertile ground for, for storytelling, but also they're naturally really are humorous and comic actors, so to bring humour to such a serious subject mm. just was a, a piece of magic. And I, once I got on board, I was like, no, 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 can I be involved? Please don't let me. Do I, want, I really want to do this. So, yeah. It sounds fascinating. Um, and Miriam was starting it last year. So, you are now taking on her role? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How's that feel? So, are you feeling any pressure there with one of the co writers who's already done the show before you? Yeah, a, a little bit. Yeah. Fine. She's, yeah. she's come into rehearsals a couple of times and it's actually felt really good. It's... Does she stand at the back and do this? No, <laughs> no, she's standing there like going, yeah, 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 getting really excited about it. Because I guess, you know, as you know, handing over your creation to some, some other actors to do, um, I don't know, I guess just adds more and more like to the work. Giving hey? your baby to somebody to look after. Yeah. Um, as an actor, for you, it must be something quite uh, liberating to have all of these characters and quite a challenge as well. Yeah, it, it's, it's been, the process has been really cool for me. I think I've needed a bit of a boot, like in terms of like the work that I'm doing as well. So, you know, working with Jason and working with Jared, who, you know, we, we all work each other really hard. It's really... And what I love about it is, I guess, weaving all these different threads of, of social issues mm. through acting and, and drama. And correct me if I'm wrong, is your mother Nanny Barb, is that right? Yeah, that's so she, right. She's got quite a big name in social work. Did you used to sort of be surrounded by that all the time? Yeah, uh, well, Mum started running a halfway house when I must have been about six or seven. So... I, re I remember originally at the very start, there was about 36 teenagers living in a three bedroom house. Wow. So it's hard not to be surrounded by that. Um, and for me, I see a lot of those young people in the characters we put on stage. Um, people who have had incredibly tough starts to life, but are still people. 
are still incredibly charming, mm. who can make you laugh and keep you entertained, but also can shock you sometimes by the choices they make. Oh, sounds like a fascinating show. Yes. Mm. Thank you both for stopping by to tell us all about it. I'm Selfish, C-E-L. Plays an organ <laughs> from next Wednesday. You can check out the theatre website for ticket details. The production will also have its Wellington premiere in November. Go get along, Wellington. Go and see it.